Okay, here we go. Welcome back to some more Rise of the Tomb Raider. Hope you're all doing well, having a great day. So, as you see, I'm at 98%. I did finish the main story. I just want to go back in, see if there's anything to say. Maybe if you go to the campfire, Laura's got something to say. And see if I can figure out what's the percentage that I'm missing. And then we might go to the Croft Manor. I know it's a lot to take in. I wish I could have been with him in the end. Knowing your people would be safe gave him comfort. He went peacefully. Thank you, Lara. Our oaths have been fulfilled. What will you do now? This is still our home. We will rebuild. But there is much work to be done. There are still enemies in this valley. And there is still much to discover. Okay, I had hoped that would be there, that you would actually know how she's handling her father's death and what's happening. So cool. That's, I'm glad they put that in there. Alexandra and her family are leaving too, following what's left of the old Soviet railway. I can't understand that. What about our faith changes with Jacob's passing? This is still a sacred valley. Is it? And what are we protecting anymore? The source went with Jacob. We all have to ask ourselves some difficult questions, and I won't judge those that answer differently. Cool, interesting. Okay, so let's see here. I see that's 100%, hey, 100%. You can even go back to Syria. Pretty cool. Okay, so it seems that I have gotten yeah, documents, two out of 208 out of 208, relic 60 out of 60. So it might be that my weapons aren't upgraded, so I might go and farm so that I can upgrade the weapons you see there is a fire in here Okay, there's a tank top. <laughs> if you see here, 88% complete, 77%. So it might be that I'm just missing that and that's what's not giving it 100%. And I say also, it's like I've got only 5 out of 6 rifles, 7 out of 8 handguns. Not really sure where to get them. Okay, let's see here.
That looks pretty cool, but I don't know if that's a new one or not. We've got classic Tomb Raider. Oh my word. Wow. And a little darkness. Very cool. Oh my word. Okay, so there is the desert tank top. Okay, cool, cool. totems around some of the caves be careful around those places okay so not everyone has got something new to say greetings Okay, so I will, I say, farm on my own time and try and upgrade the weapons fully. So with that, I'm going to the Croft Manor, so I'll probably see you when I'm there. Okay, maybe you saw this, but as soon as you logged in and got that conversation with Sophia, it's now 100%. And if you see her, if I go to shop, you get the 100% completionist card back. On fire and can ignite enemies with melee attacks. Rainbow try. I really don't understand the things, but okay. So that just leaves Croft Manor. So that is 100% for the game. I think Explore the Manor is the one because that says New Story Blood Dies.
Yeah, this seems afterwards. Oh, lovely, so it's one of, the one I'm missing is of, it's Amelia's, okay, hmm, and the relics, I need a few, I think I'm going upstairs first. Sorry if there is quiet moments in between, there's like an airshow near me, so there's like planes and helicopters flying over. something that I found that's new like I said some of the relics you only get after the main story I can still remember the last time I fired these Ross pistols I'm sorry it's sad that that's all that's said to it yeah I miss her double pistol firing Look there on the wall, the bows. Very cool. Okay, here's some more. There's the Atlas. Such an amazing piece of craftsmanship. Sophia insisted I take it home with me. It's amazing how Laura and Sophia went from being enemies to like arrow in the throat to this. Uh, 
Oh, is this not the sword from the guy in that took his own life in on Yamatai, the general that did Sakapatu, sub, uh, uh, Sakapu, uh, I can't say it now. The broken sword I brought back from Yamatai. Yep. Okay, so you can all laugh at me and thanks to the people that didn't say in the comments and saw that I was running right past it. Okay, so uh, it's going to be a cut but I've been running around the mansion searching all these things. Now if you see her, you're in the art room, the artillery here, whatever you say it. And I never saw there's a ladder here. This was for a show in London of Mum's work. What I wouldn't give to see this today. Hmm, it says here, Amelia Croft plans to show her work in New York. I wonder what happened with that. Yeah. Well, we know, so like I say, that's the conversation kind of doesn't make sense. Lara arrived tonight, though not without a bit of drama, but all is well. She's a healthy, beautiful baby. I've never seen Richard so happy. I'm sure he'll be celebrating with his favorite whiskey tonight. It's calm and peaceful now. Just the gentle sound of the rain and the small, sleeping breaths of this new life I hold in my arms. Lara, Lara Croft, my Darling daughter, it's hard to put into words this feeling I have. We share a connection, something I never expected. A love so powerful and pure. Someday you'll feel it too. No matter where you go or where you find your place in this world, we will always have this connection. I'm glad, kind of glad I found that last. That is a very nice heartwarming one. And here's the last relic. Ran past it how many times? So it's here in the crypt. My great grandmother Rose, nicknamed the Golden Rose for her perfect reputation. I wonder what she would have thought of me. <laughs> I'm sure she would have actually loved you.
Okay, so that is Croft Manor 100% complete. Took me a while. I did have to look up these last few things. Like I, said, I just never saw that ladder there. But okay, so like I said, I'll check out the Nightmare one, see what it's like. If it is worth it to show it. And we'll take it from there. I guess so uh, these expeditions look like more multiplayer stuff and just survival stuff. Like this one where you actually have to get food from food and water from supplies that you hunt and stuff and gather and even have to make fires to stay warm. So it looks almost like more a survival type thing. So this is going to be the end of Rise of the Tomb Raider. It was a lot of fun, very interesting. Like I say, it's the Prophet and Sophia, like we got some closure there, but it it really kind of doesn't make sense to me that he just dies there and his daughter's not even there. And afterwards, it's just like talk with Lara, like, okay, we're going on. And I wish I was there, but I wasn't, so it's okay. And then, like I said, this is, I'm not really sure how Jonah survived. I'm glad he did. But then also, like I said, it's, it, it just doesn't make sense to me that his army became more like zombies, and him and Anna, they were normal when they turned. And, and it was also kind of funny where it was almost like I think it's Odysseus fighting uh, Medusa with the shield that he didn't have to look her in the eyes it's like Lara holds the thing as long as she just looks away from it and doesn't look at it, it's fine <laughs> uh, okay, also there is you do have the option to walk away from Constantine, but it apparently doesn't change anything. It's just kind of a moral choice that you make. But I just felt that, especially Lara with how he taunted her with her father's death and stuff there at the end, that she would kill him. So I'm happy with that choice that I made. And he dies anyways, so like I said, it's just a choice if you do it, or, or Lara does it, or you leave him to and walk away. But like I say, so next we'll see Shadow of the Tomb Raider. So be well, have a great day, and see you in the next video.